Hello, everyone. You are welcome to Remedia One platform for learning. Our objective is to help students who are writing WASI exams to pass their exams with ease and to score the maximum marks so that at the end of the day, you get your A in all the subjects that you'll be showing on this platform. For those of you who have been following us, we have been showing you videos on mathematics, English language, and now it is a turn of integrated science, specifically the practical aspects, because that is where most students have difficulty to answer. Today, I come your way with practicals on chemistry. I'll be guiding you how to solve chemistry practicals under integrated science for WASI students. Our first lesson will be practicals on chemistry. But if you keep following us, I'll be showing you other videos on biology, physics, and then our Greek practicals. So I want you to follow us. Always follow us. And when you follow, you subscribe and you share to your friends. So let's start today's lesson. Today our lesson is on pH of solutions. Let me give you a brief intro on pH before we even start the question. pH of a solution is a measure of acidity or alkalinity of the solution. Solutions containing high concentrations of Hydrogen ions or hydroxonium ions have low pH and they are said to be acidic. Solutions containing high concentrations of hydroxide ions have high pH values and they are said to be alkaline. Solutions with pH midway between highly acidic and highly alkaline, that is 7, pH of 7. It's said to be neutral, so that is a brief intro about pH and the pH scale. Now let's look at this past question on pH. The figure below is an illustration of the pH values x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 of five different solutions on a pH scale. The solutions are vinegar distilled water, solution of plant ashes, dilute nitric acid, and ammonia solution. But these are not listed in any particular order. And then we also have figure two, which is showing the pH scale from zero to 14, and the various positions of each of the solution on the pH scale. So we have X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. So these are the solutions. Question number A. Read and record each of the pH values. X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. B. Pair each of the pH values with the appropriate solution. C. Tablet your data as shown below. So there is a table there, and this is how you are supposed to tablet our data. If you are able to solve the question up to this point, and you tablet the results, you get 10 good marks. Let's go to question D. Give one reason for each pair of pH value and solution. So it means that we are not only going to pair or to record the values on the table. But after pairing, we have to explain why we paired this pH value with this solution. So we should give reason why each pair of pH values and solution for X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5. So let's all solve the question together. Now, if you look at the value of pH for X1, See, here is 0, and for that matter, here is 2. 
If here is zero and here is two, then the middle is one. So here is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So now let's look at x1. If you look at x1 carefully and you read it, it is on 1.2. So you write in the table 1.2. Let me write the one well. Mm -hmm. Then we go to x2, still on the p scale. If you look at x2, here is 4, 4.2. So here is 4.4. So X2 is on 4.4. Let's look at X3. X3 here is 6, and therefore here is 7. So X3 on 7, so point 0, because all the figures are in one decimal place. Let's go to X4. Here is 8, here is 9. So X4 will be 9.8. So you write 9.8. Then let's go to X5. Here is 12, 13. So 13.8. So you write here 13.8. So if you were able to fill the table up to this point, as I've already said, you scored 10 marks. Now, let's look at the second part of the question. We should pair each of the pH values with the appropriate solution. Now, if you look at pH of 1.2, it is a highly acidic solution. And in the question, the solutions given are vinegar, distilled water, solution of plant ashes, dilute nitric acid, and ammonia solution. Now, let's look at each of these solutions briefly. I'll give you the nature of each solution so that you yourself can decide which of them will match with which pH. Vinegar contains an organic acid called ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid, and so it dissociates partially in solution to produce few ions, which gives very low concentration of hydrogen ions. In solution. Distilled water is neutral. It doesn't contain any dissolved substances and so it is neutral. Solution of plant ashes contains a strong base called potassium hydroxide, otherwise known as caustic potash. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base so it dissociates completely in aqueous solution which produces large amounts of hydroxide ions, giving it high concentrations of hydroxide ions in the solution. If you look at nitric, uh, dilute nitric acid, it is a strong acid. It is a mineral acid and a strong acid for that matter, and so it dissociates completely in solution, giving the solution high concentration of hydrozonium ions. The last one, ammonia, is a weak base and so it dissociates partially in solution producing only few hydroxide ion uh, in the solution giving it low hydroxide ion concentration so now knowing these solutions let's try and match them with the appropriate pH x1 has a pH of 1.2 x1 has a pH of 1.2 which means this solution is strongly acidic solution. So among the listed solutions in the question, dilute nitric acid is the strongest acidic solution among them. So X1 is dilute nitric acid because of its low pH value. Now we go to X2 with a pH of 4.4. 4.4 is still acidic, but not as strong as 1.2. So the other acid in the question is vinegar. And as I said already, vinegar contains a weak acid called ethanoic acid. And so the 
X2 will be matched to vinegar in the question. Then we go to X3. The pH of X3 is 7.0, which means that solution is neutral. And among the listed substances in the question, distilled water is neutral. So X3 is distilled water. Then we go to X4. We go to X4 with a pH of 9.8, which means X4 is alkaline solution, but it is not as strong as 13.8. So it means X4 is a weak base. And among the list of substances in the question, ammonia is a weak base. So we shall match X4 to ammonia solution in the question. Then the last one, X5. X5 has a pH of 13.8, which means it is a strong alkaline solution. And among the listed items in the question, solution of plant ashes, as I said, contains a strong base called potassium hydroxide. And because of that, we shall match X5 to solution of plant ashes. So, in D, you are required to give one reason for each pair of pH value and solution. And that is what I have already done for you. So, X1, we said, is having a pH of 1.2, which means that solution is a strong acid solution, or it is strongly acidic. And so, we see that X1 is dilute nitric acid because it has a low pH of 1.2. It is a strongly acidic solution. X2, we said, has a pH of 4.4. And so it is a weakly acidic solution. And we said that among the listed items, vinegar. So X2 is vinegar because it is a weakly acidic solution with a pH of 4.4. X3 has a pH of 7 and we said that pH of 7.0 is neutral and among the listed items it should be distilled water. Distilled water because it has a pH of 7.0 neutral. Then X4. X4 has a pH of 9.8, which means it is a weakly alkaline solution. And so we shall match it to ammonia solution. because, as I said, it has a pH of 9.8, which makes it a weakly alkaline solution. Then the last one, X5, has a pH of 13.8, which makes it a strongly alkaline solution. And I said, among the listed items, solution of plant ashes contain potassium hydroxide, which is a strong base, and so we shall match X5 to that solution, which is solution of plant ashes. So that is the solution to this important question. If you are able to score all these 10 plus 5, you get 15 marks for free. Thank you. My name is Samuel Enchi. Next time, I'll be coming your way with another type of particles.